One week after Southwest COO was grilled on Capitol Hill, the FAA's acting administrator will be called before the Senate Commerce Committee to explain the computer outage that crippled the country's commercial airlines. That was back in early January. Is the problem bigger than just air traffic controllers, though? Phil LeBeau joins us now with more. Hey, Phil. Hey, Joe, I think people are all in agreement in Washington that the issues surrounding the FAA and the use of the air traffic control system, the, the, the overall uh, stress that is on the system for uh, commercial airlines, it goes well beyond what we saw in January with the NODAM outage. But that will be front and center when the FAA acting administrator, Billy Nolan, will be uh, testifying before the Senate Commerce Committee. And ahead of that testimony, he issued what he called a safety call to action last night, sending out a memo to the FAA administrative board saying that they're going to have a safety summit, if you will, next month. Also saying we need to mine the data to see whether there are other incidents that resemble ones we have seen in recent weeks. We're talking about runway incursions, the possibility of one aircraft almost hitting another aircraft as it was approaching to land. We've seen a number of these in the, uh, in the news over the last several weeks. And for the Commerce Committee today, the focus will primarily be, at least initially, on the NOTAM outage from uh, early January, where essentially the air traffic system in this country was shut down for about five hours. Keep in mind that passenger rates right now in the U.S., not quite at pre-pandemic levels, but they're getting close. Meanwhile, the flight levels, they're still well below where we were in 2019, about 10 percent below, 9 percent below uh, in terms of the number of flights. We see fewer flights, but almost as many people because the airlines have upgaged in terms of the size of the aircraft. That is what's going to be front and center today. So when you listen to this testimony today, don't be surprised if you hear Billy Nolan saying, we can do better. We will do better. We need to bring everybody together and look at just how effective the system is right now and where we can improve it. So is there, in, just changing the subject entirely, just keep us updated on, on yep. uh, airfare inflation and, and how that factors into the overall number and, and whether I would imagine, if it's not here already, that you're, it's pretty inelastic travel. I'd be raising prices if I could. They are raising prices where, where they much? can. And, and yeah. I don't know the latest data. Joe, I don't know the latest data. I think when you do inflation adjusted, we're still below where we were right. uh, 10, 15 years ago. Um, but, but they are. I, obviously, there's no doubt about that. Anybody who's taking a trip, if you're going out to book what I mean. a flight right now, you are not finding cheap fares out there. I have a friend who was shocked at what some things cost. Um, what should I what, try getting to Florida next week? Yeah, what should I tell? What should I tell this friend? Well, when are you Phil? booking? When, Joe, when are you booking? I say this to people all the time. They say, "Well, I'm going in two weeks." Hello. About a month. If you're booking like about, within two weeks. Yeah. That's yeah, a yeah. Okay. Uh, I understand your concern. The further out you can go, we said this for years. The further out you can go yep. with your planning, the better the chances are you're going to have a halfway decent fare. I thought they might come down if I waited. Nope. No. Yes. Yes. I've got some land to sell you later on. I don't want to be near the bathroom either. You ever been near a bad bathroom? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Awful. Well, I can't even stand, stand the smell of that blue stuff. That makes me want to vomit. The what blue stuff? Stuff that's in the toilet. Well, the chemicals. Problem. <laughs> this is you.